For the last 30 years or so, video game developers have been trying to recreate the real world in virtual environments, from the very basic games like Pong to the multi-million dollar titles like Call of Duty, which we have today. Now one game developer is trying to do something radically different by turning the buildings, landmarks, trees, parks and roads we have around us into the biggest game world we have ever seen. Ingress takes the idea of a massively multiplayer online game and transplants it into the real world. The game sees players join one of two factions, the Enlightened or the Resistance, who are battling for control of a mysterious energy source which has recently been discovered, emanating from portals all around the world. The game is the brainchild of John Hankey, the man who helped create Google Earth and Google Maps, and who believes Ingress is something completely new. It's unlike, I think, any other game out there. It's a game you play on your mobile phone. Uh, you have to go outside to play. It's an MMO, so you're playing with and against other people. And at the most simple level, it's kind of a game of capture the flag, but for the entire world. Unlike almost every other video game on the market, the core component of Ingress sees players have to get up and move, leave their living rooms and visit new places which is one of the main reasons Hanky says he created the game. I guess the goal with it was to yeah, take some of that investment in Google Earth and Google Maps and to build a game that you could play out in the real world. We're motivated by kind of wanting to take the gaming experience and encourage people to go outside and play, and also to use a game to help people discover some of the cool things that are out there in their town or city or even if they're traveling. Because of the way the game is designed with two distinct factions, it lends itself to social interaction between the players. But what the developers didn't expect was the level with which the social interaction has spilled over into the real world. It's been a huge surprise. Uh, the game was designed as an MMO, so we knew that you know, there would be some kinds of social gameplay. You know, people form guilds in MMOs, so we expected that sort of teams would form and, and groups would form. But what we've seen is that there's a, uh, been a huge appetite for people to get together in the real world and meet with other players uh, to organize local meetups where people are going out for beers and socializing and then going out and playing Ingress together. We have events where sometimes more than a thousand people come together to play the game. So the degree to which people are, I guess, really welcoming an opportunity to meet new people through the game has been a huge surprise. The game has been available on Google's Android platform for a while now and has been installed on more than 5 million smartphones and tablets. This week, the game launched on Apple's iOS platform, which will open it up to tens of millions of new players. However, Hankey believes that wearable technology could be the natural home for Ingress in the future. I think that at the next generation of mobile devices, wearable devices like the Android Watch and like Google Glass, are maybe even better for games like Ingress because they make it easier to get in and out of a game while you're out moving around and going about your daily routine. The idea of bringing the gaming world into the real world is certainly an intriguing one. And if the initial popularity of Ingress is anything to go by, then we could soon be seeing the lines between the physical world and the virtual world blurring even more. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Tech Talk and for all your technology news and reviews, make sure to check out ibtimes.co.uk forward slash technology.